You know, I realized something about life recently. <laughs> and I hate to say it. I hate to say that life is binary because it's really not. Like, it's not all black and white. But with some things, it just is. <laughs> some things, it's just straight up black and fucking white. Like, I hate to break it to you. I really feel like people just want to say that there's gray areas because they want to act like they're special. And it's honestly an excuse. You know, for example, like, if you want to win, like, if you want to just do anything significant, slightly more significant than the average person, yeah, there's there's a gray area. Sure. You know, you can work a little bit harder than the person next to you. But the difference between, like, being... A, like a super successful a super successful person and not is pretty fucking black and white like a very non-successful person a person that loses at everything and then a person that wins at everything they they're, they're pretty much like they pretty much engage in like the opposite habits that's pretty obvious but man it's so black and white like and I feel like people just try to complicate life. People try to comp. I'm probably like, probably like fucking put put putting into this fucking microphone right now. Hopefully the audio comes out good. You know, I'm not even gonna chop this up because I want this to be real shit. And I want this to be like off the top. But I just honestly, man, I just really what I want this video to be about because this is actually something that has been really irking me a little bit lately. Is just the lack of intensity that I see from guys these days. Like the lack of just, the lack of drive, like the lack of aggression. I swear, like, it's like we went through this whole like, men cry too phase and it's like, let's be there for them. And now it's like, then we went through the whole like, fuck men again, we don't like them. Like I'm talking about society. And I just think it's so funny like, the narrative that I think is being pushed a little too hard is that men have feelings too and we need to go a little easier on them. Like, I get that. Like, I understand, like, you can look at the statistics, okay? The suicide rate for men is abnormally high compared to women, right? Like, the statistics are there. But I just think the conversation needs to change a little bit. The conversation needs to change... Uh, from like a coping conversation to like an empowering conversation okay let's just say like you have the worst fucking mental illness diagnosed by some fucking dick in a fucking sweater vest and he's telling you you have this 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 that and the other well okay if there's a person that had it worse or had the same shit that's more successful than you, you can't say shit about it. You can't actually use it as an excuse. Sorry. I fucking believe me. I tried. My dad is actually... My dad was diagnosed with something, right? And then I started to think, maybe I have that same thing. And I actually started to identify with that. And it only hurt me. It only fucking hurt me. I just think that there needs to be more of a conversation about, look, it's, it's like a, here's my thing. Hey bro, it's okay to cry. It's okay to hurt. That is normal. It's a, all that shit is cool. It's not, maybe not cool, but it's normal, right? It's okay to be emotional sometimes. It just is what it is, but there's always a, but right. If it gets to the point where it's fucking up your relationships, where it's fucking up your work, where it's fucking up your goals, where it's fucking up your whole life, you have to put your foot down. I can tell you this from example. My anger has held me back a lot in my life. That's why I talk about using anger to empower you. Because it anger actually was and has been debilitating for me. See, I don't sit here and say... Oh, I'm just like a loose cannon. I just get fucking pissed off. I'm always like, fuck, I got angry again. I need to get better. 
my 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 feelings are not invalid but i still need to keep going i still need to keep pushing i still need to learn from this i think that's really the conversation that we need to have especially as men your feelings are not invalid no one's fucking saying that and if they are fuck them they can go fuck themselves that's not what i'm saying i'm saying your feelings are not invalid but regardless we need to be leaders we need to be if you want to be that guy, you need to be that guy. I'm not saying you need to shut your emotions off, but you need to learn how to control them. You need to learn how to fucking control your emotions. It's important. Back to what I was saying about the black and white thing. Like, I think people don't really want to think about this. The fact that, and this all kind of ties into, you know, the same underlying theme. I think people don't really want to talk about this, especially guys. Um, I'm 27 now. I'll be 30 in like a little over two years. I'll be 30. A lot of guys my age, like around this age for God knows fucking why have like thrown in the towel, like literally legitimately thrown in the towel. I, and I know because I, I, I conversate with men like this on a daily basis. Because a lot of these guys are like this when they first start working with me. When they come and start working with me to lose body fat and gain muscle and get on the team. I think there just has to be a serious conversation about like... You can't just count yourself out. It's too fucking easy to do it these days. Everyone's fucking doing it. You can't just count yourself out, bro. Like, you're fucking not even 30 yet, or even if you are fucking 40 watching this video. It's not too late for you, bro. And this is a dichotomy. It's not too late for you, but... This could be the theme of the whole video, the but and everything. The clock is fucking ticking. Like, it is. Like, there's a... There's this first... There's first... It's There's a sweet and there's a sour. Like... It's not over for you. It doesn't matter if you're fucking 55. My dad started over at in, at age 53. <clears throat> and has a whole new career. It doesn't matter what age you are. But the clock is fucking ticking. What the fuck do you think this is? What the fuck? Like this is not this is not a trial run. This isn't a fucking dress rehearsal. Your life is ticking by. It's ticking by. Right now I feel good. You know why I feel good right now? I, I'm not like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Because I feel like I'm giving right now. And I just wanted to say that because I, when people think, well, what if you, what if tomorrow was your last day? What would you do? Well, what would you do? Would you fucking, you've heard that fucking song, live like you were dying. I went skydiving. I went rocking mountain climbing. I went 2.7 sec. But is that really what you'd do if you were dying? You, probably not. You'd probably just be with your family. Right? And for you, for those of you that are godly or maybe religious, or you'd probably want to serve God for, with your last moments on earth somehow. Right? We can get into that in another video. But just understand that. Understand the but and everything. That's really the main theme of this video. Understand that. Like, God, I fucking, it's so fucked up to see guys my age, 27, 30, maybe even 35, who are like giving up. Because why? Because oh. Oh man. I have a job now that I don't like. Oh I have a house. My rent is a lot. I bought a dog. My girl. We're married now. So like I have. Oh my fucking god. It's like you're doing it to yourself. It ain't over bitch. <laughs> it ain't over. And, it's, and until you stop having dreams. That legitimately keep you awake at night. Or have you staring off into the distance. In the middle of the fucking day. It ain't fucking over. And those dreams will gnaw at your insides. They'll claw your insides until you fucking accomplish them. That's that's the way life goes. Sorry. I didn't make the fucking rules, man. But maybe this video will help you. Maybe those dreams were put there for a reason. Maybe it's time to actually accomplish them. So, anyway. Love you guys. By the time this video is out, I think... The release date for the No Victim Clothing Drop will be will be out 
Um, had some really terrible production issues with the whole clothes and f- fucking clothing product. It was a headache. It is what it is. Not going to stress about it. I'm just glad that I'm getting all the clothes in and going to start uh, showing you guys what we got for the next drop. And I'm excited. I really appreciate all the support. Um, guys, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one for fi- uh, fitness coaching, for physique coaching, guys, I only work with serious people. The reason is, is because... Um, when I lock in with my clients, when I really like, first of all, I'm all about building relationships with my clients, but I really, really want my clients to get results. I really want this to be the last fucking run around spinning your wheels, fucking bullshit. I want when someone to works with me, so excuse me, when someone to come, when someone comes and works with me, I stutter like to be like, wow, I made an awesome decision and have proof of that. Like, get results quick, learn how to keep, you know, keep the results. And that's the best part about it is that, you know, I really, with my coaching, I try to teach people how to actually live a better life through fitness and through the proper mindset. So, um, guys, you can check out all my links below. If you're interested in coaching, you can literally shoot me a text. It goes right to my business phone. We can talk. Um, just want to hear your story, you know, what your current nutrition and training is like. And I want to see if I can help you. I have limited spots on my team every month. Um, but, I always want to see if people qualify and I just want to see if you're going to be a good fit for a team and if we're just going to work together, uh, work well together. Um, I just think that's super important, but all my links are below guys. I appreciate the fuck out of you. I really want to be more real in these videos. I don't want to like go in and have to like cut every fucking five seconds just because I stuttered or I fucking said a bad word, (laughs) which I don't do that, but, um, yeah, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. So peace.